Alrighty, y'all, we are in lesson four, decorative weaving techniques. I don't think I've been saying this in the other video, but for those of you who don't know me, my name is Amy D. McKnight, and this is the Epically Creative Weaving Course. Yes. In this video, you're going to learn how to add raya knots to your weaving, how to weave sumac, and how to weave double sumac. Raya knots. Raya knots are a tapestry technique that can be made quickly on a rigid head loom. They are used generally at a, the bottom of a piece for a fringe, but they can also be added in different areas of a piece to add visual interest. So Raya knots can be made with cut yarn or with a continuous strand held together and then cut. I will be showing you how to do it both ways. So. What you're going to need, you're going to need some scissors. You're going to need some yarn that has been cut to twice the length that you want your um, desired little raya area to be plus about one inch. So we're going to start out with cut raya knots. So you want to cut your yarn, double the final length plus an inch or two. Next, with the yarn, however many strands you want, you want to fold it in half and wrap each around two adjacent set of doubled warp threads. And so you see that's kind of sort of what I'm doing. You're kind of making a, oh, I'm not good with knots. Is it called a half hitch knot? I'm, I shouldn't have even tried. Anyway, you're going to pull the ends down and adjust as needed. And when you finish, um, a row you're going to trim to the desired length. Now we're going to do some continuous strand raya knots. So you're going to start from your non dominant side. I am a righty, so um, I'm going to start and I'm going to place the starting end to face the front of my weaving. And I'm going to bring the ball. Of yarn or butterfly to the front across four warp threads and then I'm going to push it down between the last of that set of four and come up and beside that starting strand and then we'll put the ball down <laughs> and I'm going to like make it you know look like it's supposed to and then I'm going to move over two warp threads and push the ball down between them and I'm going to bring it up beside them. Then we move across four warp threads. I am doing, um, I happen to be doing four over, but you can do as, as wide as you want the knot to be. I'm going to push it down and around and I'm going to continue across. So if that was just totally as clear as mud to you, don't worry. You're going to find an over my shoulder video of me weaving after this lesson, and it's going to be labeled Raya Knots. Sumac. The sumac stitch looks much more complicated than it is. I promise you. You're going to need thicker or heavier thread than your weft yarn, or you can use multiple strands of thread. Single sumac. You're going to start from your left left side, if like me you're a righty, and you want to leave a tail of about two to three inches. You're going to bring the thread over two, down and around one and over two. You see what I'm doing? I'm kind of doing it in a stair step so you can see what I'm doing. Repeat as far as you'd like and then beat. And then you can tuck the ends toward the back. Now let's do double sumac. The double sumac stitch is super simple and it resembles a plait or a braid. It can be created in two ways, weaving single rows of sumac in opposite directions or weaving with a double strand at the same time. So you're going to need 
thicker, heavier weight thread or multiple strands of thread, you kind of want it to be about three to four times the width um, of the area to be accented. We're going to weave an area of single sumac and at the end we're going to turn and work backwards in the opposite direction. So this is how you're going to weave two single rows to get double sumac. Here's the alternate knit method and that's what I'm going to be demonstrating. You're going to fold the yarn in half. You're going to place the loop under the farthest um, left warp threads, thread or threads. You're going to pull the ends through the loop and bring the pair of threads across two warp threads and then bring the working threads to the right, bring them down. And when you come back up, be sure to bring them up in between the previous stitch working across. So again, if that is as, as clear as the midnight sky, don't worry. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this and you can find it in my video that's labeled sumac. So in this lesson, you learned how to add raya knots to your weaving, how to weave sumac and how to weave double sumac. So I want you to take action now, pick a technique or two to try out and weave with or after the coming videos that I'll be posting. And if you haven't already, why haven't you downloaded and printed out the Playing With Yarn game board? You can fill it out as you go. And um, there's a new hashtag. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but hashtag Creative Weaving Playing. And um, yeah, tag me so that I can see what you're up to. Or better yet, join my weaving community. Um, you'll find out more information at myweavingcommunity.com forward slash join. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment below. If you haven't already, why haven't you subscribed to this channel, ring that notification bell and share this video. In the next lesson, you're going to learn how to use intentional skips, how to weave multiple picks in one shed, how to use purposeful draw in and how to purposefully put excessive wefts in your picks. This is going to be fun. We're going to break some rules for fun. All right, y'all, I'll see you in the next video.